Okay, so in this video we are going to be starting to look at more complicated trigonometric equations and solving them. So th now we're going to be looking at how um, sine, cosine and tan can be stretched or translated and what that's going to do to finding the solutions. So in this first example we're looking at sine of x plus 60 degrees equals 0.5 and we're going to be solving this between 0 and 360 degrees. Now, notice we are now in degrees, so make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. Mine isn't, so I'm turning mine into degrees mode like so. So I'm ready. So, when we are solving a trigonometric equation like this, then we are always going to do a little sketch to make sure we remember what sign looks like. Okay, I'm not drawing sine of x plus 60 degrees, I'm just going to draw sine x. So, here's sine x between 0 and 360, and I'm looking at 0 0.5, and so I'll be expecting two solutions. So, first of all, I'm going to inverse sine both sides, and I'm keeping the x plus 60 degrees on the right-hand side. Okay, so I inverse sine 0.5, okay, which is 30 degrees, and I'm also going to be looking for um, this other solution. Okay, so I'm also going to have x plus 60 is equal to well, if that's 30, then that distance is 30 which means that, that distance is also 30. So it's 180 take away 30, which is 150 degrees. So I've got these two possibilities. I've got x plus 60 equals 30, and x plus 60 equals 150. Now, if I subtract that 60 from both sides, then I get minus 30 here, and 150 take away 60 is 90. Okay, so I've got minus 30 degrees and 90 degrees. Now, there's a problem here, because I'm looking for solutions between 0 and 360. So minus 30 is outside of that domain. X equals 90, that's fine, that's between 0 and 360, but minus 30 is outside. So the way to make sure I'm getting a solution that is inside is to add or subtract amounts of the period of sine. So the sine curve has a period of 360 degrees. So if I add 360 degrees to minus 30, then that's going to give me a solution that is inside the range that I want, inside the domain. Right. Okay, so the actual solution I want is minus 30 plus 360, so that's 330 degrees. So the two solutions that I'm looking for are 90 degrees and 330. So the way that I go about these is to first of all sketch sine and find the two solutions as if all I'm doing is solving sine x equals 0.5. I then apply the transformation by, in this case, taking 60 from both sides and then identifying that one is outside of the region and adding uh, the period to it. So I'm going to use similar processes in the next few videos to solve these more tricky examples.